Hey guys, this is question nine on your quiz study guide. Here you've got a series circuit, um, and we are filling out the chart with all the information on it. So let's go ahead first and fill in what's given to us. So we've got um, each of the resistances, so 100 ohms, 300 ohms, and 50 ohms. And then we also know the voltage of the battery is going to be 9 volts. So the next step I would do is go ahead and find my equivalent resistance. And since we have a series circuit, this formula is one of the easiest ones we have. And you're just adding up each of them. So it's just R1 plus R2 plus R3. So most people don't even need um, to write that down or show their work. So you would add up 100 plus 300 plus 50 and give you a total of 450 ohms. So that's pretty easy. Next step is going to be using Ohm's Law. And you are going to find your current for the circuit using the voltage that it gave you of 9, solve for I, and then you're going to plug in that total resistance or equivalent resistance. So then you divide 9 by 450, and that is going to give you a current of 0.02 amps. All right, so you can add that to your chart. And then with a series circuit, your current stays the same and your voltage changes. And the way I remember this, I said in the um, video for question eight, is just SC. So you can think like South Carolina series is current. And then for a parallel circuit, I think VP like vice president. I'm just a P. Um, so like voltage is the same in parallel and a series is the um, current that stays the same. So SC and VP. So... Um, that means every line is going to have 0.02 or every resistor um, is going to have 0.02 amps of current through it. So that's filled in. And then the last step is to find your voltage for each one, which again, you're using Ohm's law V equals IR. You'd plug in your current and resistance for each. So it'd be 0.02 amps times 100. It'd be 0.02 times 300 and then 0.02 times um, 50. There, my handwriting is really sloppy in this video. Um, so you'd multiply all of those out, and then your voltage is going to be 2, 6, and 1 volts each. All right. So now we've solved everything, so let's recap what we did. So first thing is to go ahead and fill in what you know. So we filled in our resistances from our diagram and we filled in our total voltage that was given to us. Then we went and used our um, equivalent resistance formula for a series circuit. Note the S there, that's how you tell the difference on your formula sheet, which is just adding them together, which is where we got this 450 from. Then we used Ohm's law formula, V equals IR, plugged in our voltage that was given to us and the 450 ohms that we found, and that got us a current of 0.02 amps. So we plugged that in here. Then we know since it's a series circuit that our current stays the same through each resistor. So that's why it's 0.02 all the way down. And then we used Ohm's law again to find our voltage for each, which was um, going to these two multiplied by each other to get us that. And then we've got 2, 6, and 1, and those actually add up to give us 9. So that's kind of a way of checking yourself. So those add up to equal that. So um, I hope this video helps. Please let me know in class if you guys have any questions on how to do this. You'll see one just like it on your quiz, probably just with different numbers in the diagram. So thanks for watching.